all of our homes have water heaters. Most of them are tanks made of steel. These will have a sacrificial anode rod. Here's a view of the inside of a new tank. Here we see a cross-section water heater tank. Inside the tank, the role of the anode rod is to deteriorate. It is made from a more active metal that will respond to the corrosive properties in the tank before the steel tank starts to corrode. As long as there is sufficient amount of the anode rod remaining, the tank should not corrode. These anode rods have been working to protect the steel tank. Notice the second one down has no protective material remaining, only the steel core wire. In this tank, you can see the rust ulcers that caused it to fail. These rust ulcers are around the electric heating element. This ulcer is on the side of the tank. Changing the anode regularly will help avoid the tank ulcers that lead to tank failure. prevent tank failure, the anode rod should be inspected at least every two years. When 25% or less remains, a new anode rod should be installed. There are two ways anode rods are attached to the tank, by nipple or plug. The nipple type is found on the hot water outlet. plug type is found on top of the tank in a separate opening. Here are some examples of where the plug type anodes are located. Sometimes they are hidden under plastic caps and covered with insulation. The insulation can be as much as two inches thick. Nipple type is always in the hot water outlet.